flushes the other way. And welcome back to another video. So we're continuing our Australia series. Our last video was about... Australian slang words or just Aussie terms that we didn't know. Yeah, so Australian slang. So now we thought it would be a good time to talk about the cultural differences from Australia and our life back in the U.S. We decided to put this video together based on a request from Maurice W. So we asked for any video suggestions and we want you to know we're listening. So thank you Maurice for the suggestion for this video. So as you saw in the intro, indeed the toilet does flush the opposite way in Australia <laughs> compared to the U.S. But let's get into some serious points here. So I think what we're going to start out with is talking about work differences. So yeah. what work has been like here in our six month contracts compared to back home, our careers in the US. So I started working in Australia in November of last year. So it was around the holiday time and yeah, it was pretty low key, pretty laid back. Uh, people were still obviously focused on projects, but at a bit slower of a pace. And then things definitely picked up come January. So I think that was pretty different back in the US. It's go, go, go all the time, even though it does slow down a little bit in the holidays. It was a nice relaxed pace here in Australia. And I started my role in October of last year. Unfortunately, mine's come to an end. But when I was there, I, it was the first job in my professional life that I got in at nine and left at five, and that was encouraged. <laughs> so that was really nice and different. And I would just say that the workplace culture in general is a lot more relaxed and casual, just in the way that people dress and the way that people carry themselves and talk. It's much less buttoned up and professional. I think in the US there's kind of a bit more of a professional persona and here it just really seemed like people were kind of themselves so honestly it took me by surprise at first but it was kind of nice once you got used to it. Yeah something you can get used to. Yeah. I think and I don't know if just because we were doing working holiday visas and not our long-term careers back home but back home, you know, work was usually always on the mind. We were stressed after work coming home. Oh, I had such a rough day. But here, once you get home from work, we honestly never really thought about it until we were back the next day at nine. So I think that says a lot about our experience working here. I think priorities are different here. It just seems like there's much more of that work-life balance that Americans strive so hard to reach. Yeah. It just comes naturally here. It's much more accepted. It's great. And I guess another big difference from the US where we lived on the East Coast and Australia is the weather. So not too many rainy days. We have not seen snow yet since we've been in Australia mm -mm. and it's just been really nice and we did have... We don't miss it. Not yeah. at all. I mean there were bushfires so that was this, I don't know, people had never seen it in their whole lives and of course we got here at that time so that was an outlier but yeah. mostly it's just been not too humid, sunny. Yeah, and I'm loving the weather right now. We're in, what, May, almost May, April, mm -hmm. mid-April. It's cool. It's like fall back at home. Yeah. Really enjoy it. The weather's great. It's so great. Don't miss the cold. Yeah. At all. Now, cold for us is like 70 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> We're so, babies. Yeah. <laughs> We've had an eternal summer for a year. It's a way to do it. <laughs> kind of going along with the workplace differences, just the entire attitude towards holidays and vacations is a lot different here. Mm -hmm. So I know schools get a lot more school breaks during the year. Their schedule is a little bit confusing to us, to be honest. Yeah, it's not like one big summer you no. get a lot of frequent breaks, which yeah. is what they're used to. Yeah, and it's completely standard and normal to get four weeks vacation time standard entry yeah. level um for the whole year i think we get i got a lot of comments about how do you make two weeks of vacation a year work how can they do that how is that possible um yeah so it's kind of hard to go back now i think <laughs> after seeing what other people have here and that doesn't even include christmas break sometimes yeah so companies shut down for two weeks and you still get so you can get six weeks of vacation a year Feasibly. Not too bad. Also, this isn't an ad to move to Australia, but no. we're just saying it's, there's some nice differences. <laughs> there's some nice differences. And another big difference here in Australia are the sports. So when we got here, we sort of created a list of all the different sports we wanted to go watch while we were here. Unfortunately, a lot of the seasons ended up getting suspended, um, yeah. so we couldn't see rugby league or Australian rules football. So those were two big ones we wanted to see. 
We did go see some Australian soccer, and we also went to see a cricket match. For 20 minutes before it got rained out. But we went to the cricket ground. We went. It counts. In Sydney, and it was a lot of fun. We had our bucket hats and figured out the rules for the most part. So, good learning experience. There's a definite uh, difference in understanding between the rules of sports. So, I feel like people here don't understand American football and don't really care to. No. Just like the rest of the world, when we lived in England, there's a bit of a following in the NFL, but no one really gives a crap over here in Australia. <laughs> they have their sports that they like that are popular, so why watch anything else? Fair enough. Maybe when we're back in Australia, whenever, who knows when, but we'll be able to see some Aussie Rules football and some Rugby League. That'd be nice. So those are some, some of the major sports. So another big difference is the food here in Australia. As you know, Jenny and I love to eat. And we definitely explored, explored the Aussie food scene here um, compared to the U.S. So, of course, being in a large cultural hub like Sydney, there are so many good types of food. I think the big differences that we found was obviously having our Vegemite toast for breakfast in the morning. <laughs> We've changed our tune. We actually love it. Yeah. But when it comes to lunch, there are so many different options from... I guess the chains that you have to eat. So back home you got your KFC, Taco Bell, your burger chains. Here there's a lot more chains around like Chinese food, Japanese food. There's just so many awesome choices that we didn't really have back in the US where we lived. Yeah, that's fair. I would also say the only things we really miss are Mexican food, like really good authentic Mexican food and also probably barbecue, mm -hmm. like that kind of food. Yeah ribs and pulled pork sandwiches and that kind of stuff but the one thing that we have loved here is the authentic asian food because where we've grown up and lived in the u.s we haven't had the options that we have here i mean it's amazing vietnamese thai japanese korean i mean it's especially Dim awesome sum. yeah just because after we traveled we fell in love with asia and so much of the food so it's been really cool to be able to have those options here food it's a winner in Australia. <laughs> we'll talk more about it in another video. And the last big cultural difference that we wanted to talk about was, of course, the Australian accent. So Logan and I lived in England back in 2016, 17, mm -hmm. 17, and we were in the northern part of England, and he was there a year. I was there about half a year, and by the time we left, we felt pretty confident that we could do a mean northern English accent impersonation. Like, we were pretty confident in it. Uh, we've been here for about six months, and if you haven't checked out our latest video, um, you can check that out here. But we're terrible at the Australian accent. Yeah, you it's just... It's so hard. You really have to practice at your Aussie accent. And we obviously stand out here with our American accents, for sure. We sometimes get mm -hmm. asked if we're from Canada, but, um, yeah, we can't do this accent. I don't think I'll ever be able to do it. Someone said it's much... Our American accents are much more nasally compared to mm -hmm. the Aussie accent, which is very, very true. So you'll stand out on a train or a bus compared to your local Aussies. I think the only thing I am kind of can manage to say is, I, how you going? How you going? Hi, how you going, nah. mate? <laughs> yeah, no, nah, so that's, that's all yeah, we nah, got. Nah, yeah. It's difficult. Yeah, but this is what we're doing to keep ourselves entertained. We hope you enjoyed the, uh, the video here talking about the cultural differences been really fun living here in Australia. We're sad to have to leave early, but that is the state of the world. That is life, yeah. Couldn't have blamed for it, but we're just trying to make the best of it. So thanks again, Maurice, for the great suggestion. I hope we answered some of your questions. If there's anything else you want us to talk about, please let us know, and we'd be more than happy to make a video on it. Yeah, so keep an eye out for videos in the future. See you soon.